What's up, one and all? Tis the peace dealer. It's my birthday, June 11th. Thank you all for the birthday wishes and love. I'm at Red Rock Mountain again. And I thought I would shoot on this glorious solar return a video about the impending supernatural manifestation transit process. I made that word up right now. That has been occurring ever since 2008. And now that Uranus is in Taurus, it is time to take this long drawn out process and make it manifest for real. Up until late 2018, this whole process was much more spiritual and figurative in that Uranus and Aries had to direct your conscious self towards the direction of where you want to manifest this power through how or rather what you identified yourself as. So in order to manifest, you know, supernatural power as a baker, right? And you manifest a bakery with Uranus and Taurus. Well, you had to realize that you were a super baker when Uranus was in Aries. So this was a very painful process that required apotheosis of some sorts and dying, literally dying to an old way or an outdated way or a lie, you know, that doesn't constitute who you truly are. And, you know, some of you are still going through this process and just know you're not alone. Just know that it gets so much more fun and way better. And as we shift gears here, this is going to prepare us for the next stage of this transit, which we will see around 2024 to 2027 enact. And we're talking about when Pluto goes into Aquarius, Neptune is in Aries, and Uranus is in Gemini. For now, we are taking this subconscious, internal, and physiological, psychological energy that constitutes our neuro-linguistic programming, the patterns with which we set with our habits and how they ingrain with our DNA structure and body, and we are emerging and literally manifesting supernatural power with the activation of these DNA strands, some of which are changing their nature forever, okay? So I really wanna give you that image this is another special topic video in which I will go in based on your rising sign and or zodiac sign, how this is gonna affect you, where what you represent. Because remember, we're all the body of Christ. And so different people play different you know, facets of this. If you are Capricorn, if you're a Pisces, and if you're a Taurus, you're the most three important facets of this. And as a result, if you're a Cancer, if you're a Scorpio, and if you are a Virgo, the opposition effect puts you in the play of this too. Same goes for any of you who square this, but each and every single one of you are involved nonetheless, okay? This is denoting since 2008, the transformation of our current reality structure and way for a whole new world, Pluto in Capricorn, and then Neptune that entered Pisces around 2012, which now plugged us back into the source. I don't even know how to explain this, to be honest, but it plugged us back into the source of all funky, mythical, magical, califragilisticexpialidocious, supercalifragilisticexpialidociousness with magical unicorns and just really making us believe everything's possible again. There's a reason why I cannot, I can, but I will not break down logically Neptune and Pisces. You can break down Mercury Mercury and Virgo, which is analytical, which is really concise and precise. I will not break down Neptune and Pisces because that's an insult. And this is everything to do with the unlimited nature with which you can imagine and create your reality. And of course, now we have Uranus, which has joined the party in Taurus. This pipeline with Neptune as a focal point is drawing energy literally from different worlds, from your internal world, and it's manifesting it through your body. This is a long process. Don't rush yourself. But we're finally breaking th through this whole lesson. Now that Saturn is in, you know, Cap and Jupiter will join to really push this forward to where, once again, you really sense and experience this manifesting physically. 
once again, um, once this shifts in Aquarius, Aries, and Gemini, respectively, the internal dialogue and work that's being done will manifest in our outer world and will take what is manifested. And the new lesson is how do we create our reality with this? How do we actually, you know, bring this into our actual outer world instead of dealing with these more internal lessons? So, you know, really figure out where this is in your chart. If you have any energy in Capricorn, Taurus, or Pisces, this will also let you know how you personally connect with the energy. And most importantly, you'll definitely have a, a great understanding of how well you'll be in a position uh, accordingly to not only harness this, but see how it works in synastry with other people as well. Make sure above all, um, you're aware of the house that this is taking place in and how this aspects with very important planets in your chart because this is going to let you know where accordingly this is taking place as a Taurus rising myself Uranus is coming through my first and so this Neptunian influence in my 11 that will connect me with more spiritual people in my life it's going to affect uh, very strongly and powerfully my identity all right how I identify myself and how I personify with this evolutionary energy, okay? Very important because where, when you know what house this affects you and how, this is going to give you a great insight into not only what to expect, but uh, a general trend as to the whole purpose of this evolution. Once again, if you are Taurus, if you are Capricorn, if you are Pisces, you're representing a focal point of this energy. Capricorns, you're the destroyers, you're the transformers, you're literally uh, conduits of this Plutonian energy, which is having you develop a new relationship with death and karma, because Saturn's there. And then if you're a Pisces, you're literally, you have no choice, you're literally having to experiment with, you know, magic, with with otherworldly magic, with, with, with the whole glitches in the matrix, with living a reality that is deviant from almost everyone while still having to live a normal life. It doesn't get any more normal. It does get more strange, but Pisces, Pisces risings, Pisces moons represent that conduit to which we can access this more subliminal, but also dreamy and highly intuitive spiritual energy. And then of course, Tauruses are now the revolutionizers. Aries has passed the torch, and now that Aries is ready to manifest everything they've evolved, Taurus is now in a position where they're coming into revolutionary radical insights, and y'all are conduits as such. But, you know, just because you might not be directly that sign, you could be opposite it. You could be squared. This is very important. And you want to see these three planets moving together because they will shift together. And they won't always shift in this pattern. We will see, you know, Jupiter catch up, Saturn catch up. So keep this in mind. And uh, I think I'll end this video here. You're supernaturally manifesting. If anyone has any questions regarding the whole politics, the whole me mechanism, of supernatural ability and how this is going to be a part of our physiology, then point them to Neptune, sextile Uranus and Taurus, and sextile Pluto and Capricorn. That's it. Where is it in your chart? Please comment down below how this is affecting you and how you notice this actually, you know, bringing out so much more of your being. For those of you who have Uranus coming through your rising sign, like me, this is going to directly impact your identity this is going to directly harness and coral this electric power through your body you're going to turn into static shock and that's all i have for now uh until next time peace i hear they all say yellow saw that dog fall back like drama hop on y'all track draw back like Toto, and i kill it but the listener i heal like manolo devil got him twisted telling y'all to lift this life like there is no god in existence no heaven, no hell, just this so You can keep living however you lived in uh, You can live twice, you accept right, right. Die once, but I see you in the next life like, God over money, never left high Look at them tripping, they figured their business was just tight huh. Psych. I am a believer, they can lie to people I'ma bring the Bible to your people yep. You only live once, live fast, die young What's next, dog? We already dying over sneakers, let's go All right, girl, up. you already know, though You can live once, I'ma live once, my dog Thanks, ready, thanks, ready, G-O-M Until I got a house, once live on That's the motto, homie, dollar. Okay, 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 ok
I can hear him now, bitch. Why you hating, bruh? I ain't hating on Drizzy. He ain't make it up. He ain't in control. I'm just hating on what Satan does. Give us information that a message generates.